Hey guys, what's up? Xbox Kid here, and today we are doing a review of the MSI Wind U100. Now, this laptop came out a little, uh, notebook came out a little while ago, but, and yeah, we're doing a review. So, basically, as you can see here, it's got a very gloss, it's glossy on the front here. And, uh, just like regular on the back, pretty much. All right, so let's let's um, uh, open this bad boy up in a second. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Um, so it's got your basic ports. It's got a Ethernet port, VGA out port, um, headphone jack, and mic and whatnot, and does. Uh, uh, we here we actually got an SD card reader if you want to pop one of those in. We got a USB port here. And on the other side we got another two USB ports and the power jack. So that's pretty good. This thing's real small. It is powered by the Intel Atom processor. And it comes with Windows XP, though you can load Vista on there if you wish. I do not recommend it, as it runs atrocious. So the keyboard here, uh, this is actually the Spanish version, as this one's imported. But we are running the US version of Windows. Let's get you... Now, this is a normal keyboard. You got this little FN key. You hold it, and you can hit any one of these, and they'll do different things, like you have volume up, brightness up, brightness down. You know, uh, you can actually overclock the processor with this one right here. And uh, some of the keys are like double keys, since this isn't a full-size keyboard. Um, it's got... I'm really actually pleased with the screen on this thing. It's real good quality. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to really attract fingerprints too much, uh, so that's real cool. We have got a, uh, video, um, yeah, okay, webcam here, and a mic there. The mic's real good, webcam, a little choppy, a little slow, but it's pretty good. Alright, now let's boot this bad boy up. We're actually running the Windows 7 beta on it here as I find that it runs better than XP and Vista. So, let's start this thing up. Ooh, alrighty, there we go. It has real quick startup with Windows 7. We have 2 gigs of RAM in here right now. It came with 1 gig, but we upgraded it. Um, this is the 3 cell battery version. So, you can get a 6 cell, and that'll therefore give you more battery life. We got Windows 7 here. There is no DVD drive on this, as it's slim and small. So, here we have the Windows 7 Beta. And it runs extremely well. Mm, so what to show you guys? So I should show you maybe a bit of the gaming performance. Yeah, okay. Um, let's start up. I've, base I've installed Grand Theft Auto Vice City on here. And it plays pretty well. Let me increase the volume of it for you guys. It's pretty good for affordable gaming, actually. It's not bad. There we go. 
go. So yeah, that's basically it for you guys, I guess, you know, plays older games pretty well, I do not, I've tried Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, that runs horrible, so yeah, it's okay for older games, uh, it worked pretty well with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I tested it with. Um, I didn't even bother testing with Fallout 3 or Oblivion, as I knew that would play awfully and from the start. Uh, it works pretty well for video editing, as well as the video that you're actually seeing right here has been edited on it. I'm surprised at the performance of Windows 7 on my uh, notebooks now. Um, I am, I'm pleased with it. It runs great. So for anyone who wants to buy this, I recommend you get into the Windows 7 beta. Looks great for emulation, which is one of my favorite hobbies for gaming. For those of you who want to know how to do this, I've already made a video, and you can look for that yourself. Damn it. Alright, um, I'm just going to keep playing here. Xbox, get out.